do comedy, people think it's poetry, and they don't laugh, and then every time I do poetry, <laughs> people think it's comedy. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> so uh, I want to start this uh, with a little bit of advice. Um, Alyssa and I just spent some time uh, with my grandparents, where they talked at us uh, for about two hours, and uh, this advice comes from me, and it's to me. Uh, it's a promise you were coerced into making is not a promise. So uh, this one is uh, the opposite of a love poem. Uh, it's a hate poem about myself, uh, and you can film this one. Uh, it's called Not Slash No Slash No Thanks. I hate the way my mouth tastes. You carry around a lot of loss, someone once told me. Might have been a therapist or a lover, doesn't matter. One time I said, it's really hard being me, and someone, doesn't matter who, said, I know. I hate the way my mouth tastes. Someone confronted me in the bathroom last week, and they called me a stupid bitch, so I didn't want to go back to the bathroom. I joked to my roommate that we were going to get murdered. I probably wouldn't have minded. I hate the way my mouth tastes. I told Caroline that I hated having a corporeal form. She didn't know what I meant. It's OK, because I didn't either. I hate the way my mouth tastes. When I get like this, I listen to a lot of music I used to like. I think my brother and I are going to get matching tattoos of album art from a record we used to listen to together. Lately, whenever I hurt inside, I tell him that I want to get more tattoos. It's because I want to hurt productively. I want something beautiful to come out of how bad things feel all the time. I hate the way my mouth tastes. My Catholic grandparents don't call me the name I've chosen. It's OK, though because I don't think I have a name. Is that 